you can't rush biology. And there is biological healing that has to happen. And remember I said earlier, if you overstretch that tendon, you will ruin it for life. You know, So the, the extreme risk is if you do too much too soon, you disrupt the repair completely, you re-rupture. That's happened to some people. Um, the, the next phase is, okay, it, the, this, the repair is so strong, but it's still forming, uh, you know, th that, that healing is still happening with those fibers. And if you elongate too much, if you overdo it and you stretch, overstretch, then you've disrupted the health of the repair as well. So you want that tendon repair to be solid and comfortable with that before you really push the aggressive, what we call return to sports activity. It typically takes in the three to four month window for the tendon to heal. Now, that some people it takes longer, some people heal on the early side of that, but that's what they'll be looking at because the criteria, you know, Aaron Rodgers, he's not sitting around for three months, as you can tell, because you saw him walking with crutches. He's doing all kinds of treatment and strengthening and so forth within the realm of what he is able to do at this point. But to get that green light to go aggressive into the sports activity requires the biology healing process. So um, yes, I would say there's a lot of things that are possible that we haven't seen yet, but it's also reasonable to say that this is going to be evaluated on a week to week basis for him. And that's, that will ultimately make the determination. So you're saying there's a chance. I'm saying there's a chance. <laughs> Booyah. Okay. Beautiful. Stefania jets 49 Super Bowl. Who says no, let's roll Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, baby. Let's roll. Huh? Okay, well, let's see. You guys, you know, all of a sudden, you know, playing better and you guys might yeah. have a chance.